Hi, I'm Janet Napolitano, Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. Homeland Security begins with hometown security. Well, it's here. 1984 in America. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. There is no doubt that we're in deep trouble as a society. The head of Homeland Security, Big Sis, Janet Napolitano, has now come out and announced that over 800 Walmarts in the next month are going to install telescreens at the checkout scanner with different federal uh, orders uh, to spy on the other people shopping. That's why I'm pleased that Walmart is helping to make our communities more safe and secure. If you see something suspicious in the parking lot or in the store, say something immediately. Homeland Security is putting up billboards all over the country that say if you see something suspicious, communicate it. Okay, well I'm going to communicate something to you, Homeland Security. I see it suspicious that trillions of dollars have come up missing and the private Federal Reserve won't tell Congress where it's gone and it turns out it's foreign banks and corporations. I find all the corruption in government that's growing out of control to be suspicious. No wonder you want to distract us with all your fables about terrorist boogeymen. For anybody who studied history, this is completely obvious. We are going into hardcore tyranny. Report suspicious activity to your local police or sheriff. If you need help, ask a Walmart manager for assistance. This is Big Brother on steroids. And folks, this is not a surprise to people that have been reading our sites because Homeland Security for at least two years has been on record starting these Viper teams and, and checkpoints in Boston and New York City and Miami. It, suddenly it's on the local news showing them doing the grope downs, grabbing people's genitals, patting them down on the streets of America. This is wrong on so many fronts. It's a violation of the Tenth Amendment. Tower Tampa Police and federal government agencies are teaming up to keep your family safe. It's the sort of security we've seen a lot of since 9-11. Now, here at the bus station. It's all part of what Homeland Security calls Viper, for visible intermodal prevention and response. This way, us and our partners are ready to move in at a moment's notice. Folks, it doesn't get any more Big Brother 1984 than this. But it's not going to be Big Brother. It literally is Big Sis when you're checking out, looking down on you, telling you to spy on people around you, injecting paranoia into the society. This is worse than those terror threat uh, levels they had. And, and, and now the former head of Homeland Security, Ridge, has gone public saying they would issue those for political purposes. A vigorous, some might say dramatic discussion ensued. Ashcroft strongly urged an increase in the threat level and was supported by Rumsfeld. There was absolutely no support for that position within our department. That's Homeland Security. None. I wondered, is this about security or politics? This is our nation turning into an East German Stasi society. And now the system doesn't care. I mean, Wired Magazine, feds warrantlessly tracking Americans' credit cards in real time with no warrants, completely illegal. They don't care, they're announcing it. The Wall Street Journal comes out and says, is your video game machine watching you? And goes on to admit that the new Microsoft Connect system face scans you and has microphones on board and can identify everybody in your home. Our culture has been so conditioned to accept Big Brother that Schools in Pennsylvania and other states come right out and say, yeah, the government issued laptops that we give you, we're watching you at home when you're in bed. Make no mistake, this is the story of America's enslavement. If we will put up with this, we will go along with anything. And notice this is happening as the economy implodes. Law enforcement sent my office the Homeland Security and MIAC reports over a year and a half ago where the government's internal documents admit 90 plus percent of Homeland Security funding is for gun owners, conservatives, libertarians, returning veterans. The big secret is this Homeland Security system is for the American people. And we had all better come together and defend the Bill of Rights and Constitution or it's over for our society. Again, it is not my opinion that Homeland Security is already on the streets of America. And now they've purchased hundreds of high-powered x-ray vans driving around looking through our walls and our cars. That's on record in Forbes. Uh, they've now purchased dozens of these huge 18-wheeler tractor trailers for football games and music events where Homeland Security is going to make you march through these. I mean, this is total takeover of society. Under the Future Attribute Screening Technologies, or FAST program, 
The Department of Homeland Security is developing innovative physiological and behavioral screening technologies to streamline the screening process at security checkpoints. The mobility of the FAST demonstration laboratory allows security officials to quickly and efficiently establish security boundaries inside the screening mobile module a suite of real-time non-invasive sensors measure behavioral and physiological indications of malintent or the intent or desire to cause harm. We've got to stop conforming to this tyranny. We've got to recognize how dangerous it is to our society. Imagine what's coming next if we go along with this outrage. And one more point. If you don't like what Walmart's doing with these telescreens and this whole Big Brother system, call them and let them know that you're not going to be shopping at their stores until they kick the federal government out of them. Thank you for doing your part to help keep our hometowns safe. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.